this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and welcome back to Ranked. Now, this is where Joe the Harman and myself pick a franchise and rank it. Very simple. Now, please keep in mind that I rank things based on rewatchability, nostalgia, and overall entertainment. And also keep in mind that this is just my opinion and how I see the films. You don't have to agree, but try to keep it nice. Okay, today we're going to be doing the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise. Now, there are nine films in this franchise, so let's get started. Coming in at number nine is The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Beginning. Uh, the washed out colors in this are kind of get on my nerves sometimes. I like the characters overall. And in some ways, I like the characters in this a little bit better. Some of them a little bit better than in the remake. But overall, this just has, I don't know, it just, it drags a little bit for me. And it's just my least favorite. The way it was filmed, you know, that's it. And that is Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Beginning. All right, coming up at number eight is The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Again, the washed out colors. I do love Jessica Biel in this. I'll watch her in pretty much anything. And I like some of the other characters as well. Um, some of the characters in the beginning I like a little bit better than some of the characters in this one. But overall, it's not a terrible remake. It's just... A little too polished for me. So, that's just my opinion. I do like it, though. I just don't return to it a whole lot. But I do like the look of Leatherface, though. I will say that. I do have the mask. <laughs> so, yeah. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre is number eight. Coming in at number seven is Leatherface. Uh, this one, I've always liked a lot. Uh, last time we watched it for Franchise Frenzy, I liked it a lot as well. Um, it's got that twist at the end. Now, granted, after you've seen the twist, it's a little underwhelming, but I judge it based on the first time I watched it and how I felt when I watched it. At least I try to go back to that time. So, that is Leatherface. And it's a... A road horror movie, which I really like. So, yeah. Alright. Coming in at number six. Is. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. This is an interesting movie for me. I hated this when I was younger because of the comedy. I've said this I don't know how many times. I didn't like comedy and horror when I was younger. Now, I don't mind it at all. As a matter of fact, sometimes I like I like the contrast, and I think a lot of people do it better now than they did back then. But with this movie, it never gets any better, and it never really gets any worse for me. It's just kind of where it is. That's a weird thing to say, because some of these movies have gotten... Uh, like, the, the remake and the beginning have worn on me over time, and I've liked them a little bit less and less each time. Some of the movies like Part 3 or um, Part 4, I've liked more. This one is just where it's at. <laughs> it never gets better. It never gets worse. So I guess that's a good thing. But yeah. TCM Part 2. All right. Coming up next is... Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation. Now, I prefer the other cut to this film, but I've shown my Scream Factory Blu-ray enough. Figured I'd go old-fashioned with the DVD. This is one that gets better for me with each viewing. And I like the fact that it's just a slasher movie, which is why I don't understand why people don't like it uh, as much as they do. They still consider this bottom of the barrel. Matthew McConaughey turns in a great performance, and of course you have Renee Zellweger, who... 
I never really liked all that much, I will say, but she's not bad in this. So, yeah. TCM, the next generation. <clears throat> all right. Coming up next is Texas Chainsaw. This is one that I liked when I first watched it. I didn't understand the hate for it. But then, as I kept watching it, it kept getting better for me. So, who knows where this will end up, you know, in future rankings. Who knows? A lot of it is based on your mood anyway, you know? You know what the movie is. It's just if you feel like watching it sometimes. But this one hit really well this time. And anything with Alexandria, Diodario, uh, can't be too bad. <laughs> All right. Coming up next is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now, this is the Netflix um, movie that I love, but, you know, this does have something going against it. And what it has is the fact that it's on Netflix and they don't put things out on physical media, or at least they do very seldom. Yeah, that uh, I think that pissed us all off because <clears throat> most of us that like horror films are completists and we want this in our collection. And, of course, I have it thanks to Joe the Horror Man and Glenn uh, from Body Bags, but, you know, it shouldn't be like that. So, yeah, that's why we always say physical media matters. But I love this movie. Um it's just fantastic. All right. Moving right along. Number two is Leatherface. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Always love this movie. I like Viggo Mortensen. I like um, Ken Foray. I like The Swamp. I like pretty much everything about it. The soundtrack kicks ass. Um... It's just a fantastic film. The Saw is family. I love I love the family in this. It's just awesome. Yeah. There's a lot of roadkill in Texas. Yeah. Figured I'd show the Blu-ray. I don't think I've ever shown it. All right, which leaves number one, which should leave no doubt in anyone's mind, is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is a movie I never get tired of watching. I think it's fantastic. I love the grittiness, the grindhouse feel. I think Toby Hooper was a genius when he made this film. There are so many scenes that just don't get old for me. I mean, the dinner scene is still, still iconic to this day. I love it. I just think it's fantastic. Um, definitely one of the best movies, one of the best horror movies ever made. It's probably in my top 20. I don't see why it wouldn't be. Um, Maybe in my top 10. Who knows? Of all time. And that is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's my number one. Don't forget to check out Joe's ranking of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And remember, guys, physical media matters. And until next time, peace.